Well, do you feel as if your get up and go got up and went? Maybe you're tired all the time or you don't feel as peppy as you used to. If you're a woman over 50, there's a pretty good chance you might be suffering from hypothyroidism. Dr. Stephen Hotze writes about that in his new book, Hormones, Health and Happiness. And here he is looking all spiffy right from Houston, Texas. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm so glad to be here today with you. Good to see Thank you. you um, the book covers all kinds of things, adrenal fatigue and burnout natural uh, female hormones hormone thyroid hormones all of that but we want to talk about thyroid thyroid, thyroid. Let, let's start by giving us just a real basic uh, biology lesson what is the thyroid and what does it do first if a woman's sick and tired of being sick and tired of midlife mm -hmm. we can offer her help and in my book I write about low thyroid conditions and she can be helped using natural armor thyroid now the thyroid glands in the neck produces thyroid hormones the thyroid hormones enter the cells of the body every cell and enable the cells to produce and use energy mm -hmm. as we age our thyroid hormone levels decline so between the age of 20 and 50 it drops 50 percent and it can still be within the normal blood range but it's half of what it was when you were younger and if it governs your energy and your energy is down 50 percent your thyroid hormones down 50 percent what do you think will help get your energy back? Thyroid, thyroid, thyroid replacement. But natural thyroid hormone replacement. I, I mean, what woman hasn't gone to the doctor and the doctor run a thyroid test and then come back and said, your thyroid levels were, were fine or they were normal? And then they offer them what? Nothing or say... Antidepressants. <laughs> oh, antidepressants. They tell them, and this is what I hear from women. They come to me and say, I've been made to feel like I'm a hypochondriac. Mm -hmm. I've got these problems. What are the problems? Loss of energy. Fatigue, hair loss, difficulty with weight, can't think clearly, mood swings, go to bed tired, wake up tired, toss and turn all night, sluggish bowel function, joint and muscle aches and pains, elevated cholesterol, mm -hmm. loss of the lateral third of the eyebrows, enlarged tongue. They don't feel good. The romantic moods and inclinations are declined, and they go to the doctor, and the doctor says, uh, does a blood test go? Well, your thyroid's normal. Right. You're not, and what, how do you think that makes a woman feel? Yeah. She feels like, well, I'm some, maybe it's in my mind and the doctor gives her an antidepressant. Well, blood tests, in my opinion, now I, I practice, conventional doctors rely strictly on blood tests. But you know that that's not that always... That doesn't work because 95% right. of the people always fall within the range. That's how they define the range. So in my opinion, and with the way we treat it, our center in Houston, Texas, the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center, and I write about it in the book, we listen to the patient and let her tell us her symptoms, and then we will treat her based upon her clinical symptoms and give her a therapeutic trial of thyroid. Well, why is it more prevalent? It's seven times more common in women than men. Is that, well, that it's, has it's to do hormonally with the, related? It has to do with the change in female hormones. It doesn't just occur when you're 50. The change in female hormones oftentimes occurs right after childbirth. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, after your first or second child, by the time a woman's in her 30 or 35, she loses progesterone. Her progesterone levels fall. She has more estrogen than progesterone, and that adversely affects her ability to use thyroid. Right. So you mentioned Armour Thyroid, natural thyroid. Armour Thyroid's been around for 100 because years. Because we hear about Synthroid. That's Synthroid, that? synthetic thyroid. Uh -huh. It's not even the active thyroid hormone. Hormone, nor is levothyroid or levoxyl. These are synthetic thyroid hormones that the drug companies have perpetrated upon the public, convinced the endocrinologists and the doctors to use, and they put the women on these drugs. And I say this, if you're taking a synthetic thyroid preparation and you still have the symptoms of low thyroid, it's not working. Right. And right. you ought to have a trial of armored thyroid. The, the real problem is how do you get your doctor to give you a trial of uh, armor thyroid, and does he or she well, know how to use it? What do we say? Re quickly, 10 seconds. What do you well, say to your doctor? Read my book. Read, read yeah. Dr. Hotze's book, Hormones, <laughs> Health, and Happiness. And that'll go over real big. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Hotze, boy, a time just flew, did it? Good it to talk great. to you. It's Thanks so a lot. It's so wonderful to be here, Renee. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Now here's Harry.